What focal lengths and lenses are the best? That's the question I hope to answer in this video because I analyzed over 25,000 of my own photos to determine what lenses and focal lengths I use the most. I'm gonna show you how you can do the same with your own photos in order to help you decide what lenses you should buy. But before we get to those results, if you wanna save time and speed up your editing, I just released my first Division One presets pack. You can find the link in the description below. The presets are designed to work on all sorts of photos and with every major camera brand, except Nikon. No, <laughs> including Nikon. So check that out and let's jump into the video. So why is this data useful? Well, let's say you do have a kit lens and you're looking to upgrade and maybe you don't know, you know, should I buy a telephoto lens? Should I buy a more wide angle lens? Or maybe should I even buy a prime lens? Instead of randomly deciding on a lens because you got a recommendation from someone else or you like the look of the photos, we're gonna use data to tell us what lenses we should buy. So here is what that data looks like. And it's interesting because at first I thought, oh, 50 millimeters would be my most used focal length. But based on this data, 70 is actually the one that I use the most. What this tells me is that right off the bat, if I was to buy a prime lens, I should probably buy a 70 prime lens, except 70 prime lenses don't exist. So I'd have to bump that up to something like an 85 prime lens. Then we have 35. Now 35 is a great focal length. I use it all the time. I like to zoom in with my wide angle lens or sometimes zoom out a little bit with my 24 to 70 because 35 is a really versatile focal length. It's wide enough to shoot landscapes, but it's zoomed in enough to do things like portraits. Then surprisingly, 15 millimeters is one that I use a lot. So what we're seeing already is that I'm kind of using the extremes of all of my lenses. Then when we go down the rest of this list, you'll see that 200 is my next used focal length. And that makes sense because if I'm using this lens and I wanna get some far away details, I'm actually gonna wanna zoom this in all the way. And then fifth on the list was a 50 millimeter. I honestly thought it would be my second or my third most popular because a lot of people like to get that cheap, nifty 50 millimeter prime lens, which, which I actually have back here, but I excluded my prime lenses from this data just because I wanted it to be a true representation that, you know, if I had an infinite range of numbers and focal lengths to choose from, what would I choose? And it does seem like in this case, 70, 35 are gonna be my two most popular. But then going down the rest of the list, you'll notice that those prime numbers or those prime lenses that you would normally get are the numbers that I shoot with a lot. So 35, 15, 200, 50, then 24, which is another prime lens you can get and 135. So how do you get access to all this data? Well, if you have Lightroom Classic, it's actually really simple, but you need Lightroom Classic. The standard version of Lightroom doesn't have access to this information. But if you go into Classic and you go to the Library tab, then go to Metadata, it'll pull up these four filters. Now you can filter by any property. You can filter by shutter speed, you can filter by aperture, you can filter by rating. But in this case, we wanna filter by focal length. So I'm gonna go into here and I'm gonna change this one here from label to focal length. Now, what it's showing me is the focal lengths available for this set of photos, but I actually wanna select all of my photos. So I'm gonna go over to my folder and I'm gonna go into 2022. And now I'm gonna make sure that I filter by just my camera. Cause you'll see that I have other people's photos in here that have taken photos of me. In my case, I'm gonna select, I'm gonna hold control and hit R5 and R6, so I know now I'm just selecting my photos and I can skip the lenses or if you only wanna filter by certain lenses, in this case, maybe I'll select the 15 to 35, the 24 to 70 and the 70 to 200. Now it's saying all focal lengths, which is fine, but I can actually go down and see according to each focal length, how many photos have been shot at each of those focal lengths. And this is the same data that I just showed you, except I put it into a graph just so that it was a little bit easier to understand. So when deciding what lenses you should buy, maybe you have one kit lens like this 24 to 105, or you have an 18 to 55, or something that just came with your camera body. If you're ready to upgrade, go into Lightroom, throw all of your photos in there, filter by the focal length, and then go down the list to see which focal lengths do you use the most. Maybe you shoot more at 70 or at 55 or at those more zoomed in telephoto lengths. 
In that case, you should probably consider buying a lens that has one of those focal lengths. Now, if you want to know what lens I like the most, I'm actually going to be talking about that in an upcoming video. So make sure you hit subscribe to see that. Give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment. What lens do you shoot with the most? Did you know that you could even go in and filter by all this information? It's pretty useful. Anyways, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.